GSX Pro for Microsoft Flight Simulator is finally here, and albeit with a shaky start, is hopefully set to become the next step in Airborne's environment enhancements within the platform. In this video, we'll take a quick look at what GSX brings to Microsoft Flight Sim, and quickly run through its installation, as well as share a few tips and tricks on how to get the best out of your ground handling. GSX enhances your Microsoft Flight Sim with realistic ground handling services, including fully animated baggage handlers and passengers boarding either via jet bridge or stairs. This adds a whole new level of depth to your simulator, adding life to airports where perhaps it has been a little more static in the past. It also makes use of airport AFCAD layouts to determine the locations of service roads which are populated with miscellaneous vehicles, and also automatic pushback location detection. This means no longer setting your pushback route, rather tell the other which direction you want to go, and it'll do the rest for you. Pilots boarding started. Pushback is also massively improved on. With a ground handle that guides your aircraft back at every step of the way, inserting the bypass pin into your nose gear and giving you clearance to start your engines, this is without a doubt by far the most realistic way to leave your stand. While a slower process than say turbo pushback or even default, it's once again one of those additions that really brings your simulator to life. GSX also has some Simbrief integration, which can be added through your settings. This means auto-loading of fuel and payload, as well as passenger numbers that match that of what you're expecting. This can be especially useful when paired with add-ons like PackX, which also links passengers and flights through Simbrief, adding to your simulator immersion. At night, services will also light up your stand and guide your aircraft with relative ease of use. Can't find your stand in the first place? Ask the follow me card to guide you instead. This can be called from the moment you leave the runway, and with different parameters set in the settings, can determine the speed you go, as well as where exactly it will guide you. You can purchase DSX off of the FS Dream Team store. You'll be sent an email with your activation key, as well as a download link for the FS Dream Team updater. Download and install this tool, select Activate beside GSX, paste your key in, and you're good to go from there. Click on Install, and the tool will do the rest. The best time to up Q tool is when you get to the flight sim menu itself. Load it too early, it won't work. Load it too late, it won't work. Temperamental, I know, but this I find has the best success rate so far. Overall, GSX is one of those add-ons that have a lot of potential behind it. Like seriously, it really does, but it needs a lot of work to get there. Back in the day, when FSX and P3D were the go-to platforms, GSX was almost a requirement to bring your airports to life, and they can certainly have that same effect in MSFS, so long they can iron out those bugs, and work on, or even replace the CUDA integrations as it is. Load automatically on SIM startup perhaps? This is certainly an add-on you need to be patient with. Take your time at pace, and eventually, you will come to enjoy the additions that it brings to your simulator.